right, how's everybody doing today? Ah, beautiful rainy day. It's been raining the last couple days, so I haven't been able to get any paint done, unfortunately. But, you know, it's just Florida rain. Okay, anyway. So, I'm going to work on the next. Um, I've got the body filler uh, completed, and I can show you that a little bit. But, uh, we're going to work on the neck. We're going to do the leveling, crowning, and polishing of the frets. So, pretty good neck. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tools there and make sure the neck is nice and flat and do the adjustments and then we're going to tape it up and we'll see in a sec. Alright, neck is straight. Uh, I'm taping it off. I don't think I've ever shown this process before. Uh, let me try to do it one hand. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, you get yourself off a little piece about, I don't know, about an inch and a half big. Yeah, I might not be able to, might not be able to do this without it looking really bad. Rip you off a piece about, I guess I about, okay, then what you do is you line it up on your fret to the left. You line the line up. You see, I'm doing one hand's a little tricky. Alright, you get that lined up, and then you take your thumbnail. Well, this was the way I do it. Take my thumbnail and make an impression. Then I take my X-Acto blade. And then, let me try to get the camera in the right position. Very carefully cut along the fret. And then you pull it out. And then there you go. And that's it. That'll protect the fret when you're doing your crowning, leveling, crowning, and polishing. So you do all the frets that way. <laughs> okay. Hope I uh, hope that helped a little bit. Oh, one last thing I think I ever mentioned. Um, when you're looking at your fretboard, before you do all this, before you start taping it off, you want to make sure that all your frets are seated. Especially if you buy it from like Amazon or eBay or something like that. See how they're all seated? None are really coming up off the fretboard itself. Which is, you know, pretty good good quality, good sign. Because sometimes you'll get a fret that bows up in the middle. When you want to make sure they're all seated very well. And that's important. Okay. Alright, got all tape frets taped up. Now I'm going to take a marker and I'll mark the top of each fret and see how I've kind of cut this sharpie marker so it has a little bit of a, a little angle there. So what you do is just like that you do the top of the fret and you go all the way down just the tops like that and you try to cover the whole fret um, do like that all the way down. All right, see you next step. All right, all um, frets are marked. Now I got my leveling beam. I use a medium, medium sized bean and I just put a fresh uh, 320. Uh, you get this uh, roll of 320 grit tape and it has, uh, it's got the uh, 320 grit sandpaper on the side and then it's got the, uh, the adhesive on the back. And then you try to get it as smooth as you can on your level beam. And this is the level beam I use. I think I got it on Amazon. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, once you make sure your your frets, every, you know, your neck is completely level. You want to do that when it's level. There's no point to do it if it's got a bow or if it's got some relief. And what you'll do now is you'll just go over the top of the frets from back and forth, taking as least material as you can to get all the frets level as to each other. All right, I'll show you the next step when I get there, all right. All right, I just wanna show you, I did a few passes with the leveling beam, and you can see where the frets that have been, the uh, the mark has been taken off, and the frets that were barely touched, and you can see where the high and low frets, like you see how this one right here, you know, these two, you know, it took off some material on the top, but this one in the center, it hardly took any at all, so that means that's low fret, so I'll have to, you know, sand it down even further. So it doesn't look too bad, but usually that's the way it happens. And I do the whole fretboard at once. I mean, I used to, when I first started doing this, I don't know, a couple years ago, uh, I've done so many of these uh, level crown and polish jobs that I used to start on the first 12 and then tape it off and then tape off the second and do the second 12. But it doesn't really matter. You can do them all at the same time as long as you have consistent motion and using the sides and remembering to getting the, the end the ends excuse me 
All right, let me try to get these more level, and I'll be right back. All right, yeah, you can see on this fretboard in particular, there's definitely a lot of uneven fretwork. So, I mean, this definitely needs to be leveled and crowned. All right, let me show you, like, uh, you see on the tops of these frets how much material was taken off. You see, like, the one there on um, this side is a little bit more taken off, and this one it's a little bit less because it's more, and then it's definitely taken off. And you can see where the lower frets were. But now I'm going to take my rocker arm and uh, I'm going to make sure that they're all you know, level to each other. So basically it's one of these things. And you start off here and you've got your fingers on both sides and you rock back and forth. If there's any play or any rock, then you've got a high fret in the center. And let's see, it seems pretty level. And then as you go further up, you're going to have to use the different sides. Like this side will reach, you know what I mean? And all the way to this side where you get the higher frets. But let me check all the frets make sure everything's good to go. All right, see you in a second. All right, all the frets are level. Check them out. So what now I'll do is, I'll do now, is I'll go through and mark them again. And then we're going to put a crown on them. And like I've shown so many times in my uh, videos before, the Zenard centered z file by stumac and it's got you know it'll actually put the crown on either side because right now you know you leveled the frets the frets were like round shape and then you took off the tops and now they're kind of like a, a kind of a square shape and that's not very good for playability and comfortability so what you want to do is you want to put another rounded surface on it so what you do when you crown you crown it down and you make it more of a triangle shape on the top of the frets and then you come through with your sandpaper. I use the sandpaper technique when I polish so and the way I do it and then over time you know over through the grits you start I start at 600, 800, 1000, 1500. Alright went through and did all the crowning and you can see all the frets are crowned. See if it'll focus. Uh, you got the black mark in the center and that's where it crowned on both sides at once. So, and you try to get all these center lines about the same thickness or so. Alright, so we're good to go. Like I said, the Stumac Z file, and it's got two sides. It's got one for smaller frets, one side for the bigger frets. Alright, so what I'm going to go through now, and I'm going to do the sandpaper. And what I'll do, I've already demonstrated this on the previous guitar builds and modifications. But I'll go through the grits. And I'll go from side to side and work through the grits and we're going to put a razor uh, real high gloss shine on these frets and make them nice and round and smooth and feel real good in the hand. And then after that, then we're going to, you know, check the fret ends. And I got my fret end file. These ones didn't feel so bad, but you always want to, I always want to round the frets. So you just round the corners and make it look good. All right, we'll see you next step. Alright, we got them nice and polished and looking good. Alright, I'm going to take the tape off and I'll be right back. Alright, got the frets leveled, crowned, and polished and looking good. Nice and polished. And now I'm going to use the fret end file and I'm going to round the edges of the frets and make them real nice. And then I'm going to install, next step is installing the tuners and drilling the holes for the back, the screws. And then this is ready uh, for paint. And I'm going to paint the front of the headstock pink. And uh, let that cure for a good few days. And then I'll put my logo, which will be black, the Raglan logo in black. And then this will be ready for the, uh, the body, to join up with the body. And still got to work on the body. I've got all the wood filler complete. And I'll have to sand all that smooth. Uh, probably not today because it's like I said it's it's been raining these last couple days and I'd like to do it outside so you can get dust everywhere and I don't want to get any kind of uh, water or anything like that so all right well I'll see you the next step all right we're good to go all the frets have been leveled crowned and polished and <laughs> it's looking really good and I did all the fret ends so there's no burrs everything feels good this neck will play awesome Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install tuning keys. i got a bunch of parts that I received through Amazon. And I'm going to put the tuning keys in and screw the holes and get that set up. And then we'll see you at the next step. Alright. Alright, got my 
tune keys, get ready to install them, and we'll see you back in a second. So I got the tuners installed, now I gotta drill out the screw holes. So I got them installed, looks pretty good. And what I need, I got my drill bit, and I got my red mark to how deep I wanna go. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, we are good to go. Screws are installed. Everything's looking good. All right, next step is to tape this neck off and to paint it. Well, take off all the parts and then tape it off and then paint in front of the headstock. Pink. <laughs> uh, it still looks a little damp outside. I might be able to get away with it in the garage. If not, that'll be for another day. And I can work on the two necks for the cloud double neck. Prince Cloud double neck guitar. I still got those two necks to do too, and then I have to shape them and all that. But all right, all right, we'll see you next up. All right, a quick update on the Halloween Hello Kitty guitar build <laughs> modification. Yeah, I got all the wood filler, and it's been drying for a while, so it looks good. Yeah, ugly phase is in full effect. Now I'll sand it, and I'll catch up with you. Yeah, it started a little bit in the center there. Just um, I think I'm going to use 600 grit sandpaper. It'll take a little bit longer, but it'll just make it all smooth. All right. All right, how's everybody doing again? Uh, in the garage, so I'm going to do some sanding in the garage. It's a little bit rainy outside, and it's a little bit night, a little bit later in the day. So I just wanted to show you how it looks before I start. The ugly phase. But I tried to make each layer smooth. All right, we'll see in a little bit. I'm going to sand it try to get it really smooth. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right. Got it sanded smooth. It looks pretty good. Tomorrow I'll put some, uh, some primer on it. And we'll see how everything looks. And then, you know, we'll put a few, several coats of primer. And then we'll, uh, you know, sand it. See if it all levels out. I don't want to keep doing that, making it nice and perfect. But yeah, alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, hey, good morning everybody, how's everybody doing? Ah, just wanted to show you a quick update on the Hello Kitty guitar build. I put about five, six coats of primer, <laughs> it's looking good. Got it smoothed out real good yesterday. Yeah, the center section is where the thick art's going to go, so I, didn't, I tried to save a little bit of paint on the center section there but yeah i'll let this dry for 24 hours 48 hours and then i'll do a sand on it and get everything smoother and it should look awesome so yeah i just wanted a quick brief update yeah turned out pretty good let's see if we can get ah oh, here we go better light yeah and like i said it's just a little you see in the center section it's just got like a little just spray uh, you know spray particle on there but uh, yes yeah, in the center section so it's no big deal and I'll sand that smooth once it dries right, looking good yeah no dings are evident all right next color will be purple and I'll have to wait till a day where it's not raining all right I'll well, see you next step hey how's everybody doing yeah the uh, sign has come out so we can do a little painting today I'm gonna put a little pink on the headstock of this Defender, the, uh, the Hello Kitty, Mean Hello Kitty guitar. All right, we'll see you in a second. I'm gonna tape it up. All right, how's everybody doing? I got the uh, the body sanded, the base, uh, the uh, primer coat sanded, and it is looking good. I just wanted to show you real quick before I apply the base of pink. Uh, and I'll be starting that now. All right, this is how it looks. Prior to the pink base coats. Fingers crossed all goes well. Spent a lot of time sanding it and getting it good as good as good. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, got the first uh, coat of pink on the body and it's looking good so far. Whew. Fingers crossed it goes just as smooth. See some bugs bumping into it, but alrighty. Here we go, first coats. I'm gonna use up this whole can, so hopefully we get a good coat on there and it looks pretty good. Then when it's done, I'm gonna let it set for about a week and a half, two weeks, and 
let this paint cure proper. All right, fingers crossed. We'll see in a little bit. All right, how's everybody doing? Just want to share a quick update on the Hello Kitty guitar modification build. <laughs> oh my God, I just finished with the, uh, the pink colored paint. And I have to say, this is probably the best paint job I've done so far. I mean, it's, oh my God, it's just amazing. Just can't believe how good. I don't want it's still wet, so I don't really want to mess with it or touch it. But let me show you the body. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, it, I took so much time sanding the, uh, the primer coat. Um, I just can't believe how well that turned out. Look at that, that is just amazing. Of course, there's the Prince double neck. Still got to sand that tomorrow and paint that one. But wow, look at that. Yeah, I just finished painting this one not too long ago, so it's it's on the hanger, and I don't want to disturb it for a while, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on the paint. Wow, look at how good that turned out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I found the, uh, the secret to making really good paint jobs like that. Oh, wow. And I'll let this uh, cure for about... Uh, probably about a week, seven to ten days, and then I'll check it and see how it looks. But yeah, wow, it's just, uh, it's amazing just how well the paint, you know, the more prep, uh, I, I've discovered that the, the more time you spend prepping the guitar as far as sanding, uh, making sure everything is completely level, like I really took a lot of time. Uh, on the body on this one to to try to perfect the painting because like I said in past videos I've always painting has always been my my flaw as far as building guitars because I could never get the paint to look at that it just it's it look it looks awesome but anyway uh, all right and here's the uh, cloud double neck that's been curing for a while too that's the primer coat so yeah I can't wait to get this one going and I got the pick card up here getting ready and I got the white EMG 81 today so I'll be putting that in the pick card so yep I'll let this uh like I said let this cure for about seven to ten days maybe even a little bit longer Let's see if I can go around the front here um yeah, it's a little dark in this room Probably about 5 36 o'clock at night here in central florida but i just wanted to show you the progress wow that's beautiful and i really like that color of pink rust-oleum uh, all right just a quick update chatty little update on the uh, the hello kitty guitar build modification all right and that'll be end of part two on the youtube series and we'll see for part three where we get all this this guitar put together and sounding good all right <laughs> we will see you soon talk to you in a little bit